Hello, this is Rakula at 100 x and welcome to my website. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Kool at Man 100X. Welcome back to College Football 25. I'll show y'all how to get better. But before we jump into the video, make sure you visit my website. Link will be in the description below for Kool Aid Man 100X.com. You can become a member and also get ebooks as well. That's where I'm having all my breakdowns, hidden tips, and the membership. And ebooks will be on that site and other stuff that you can buy too as well. So we're going to be going over the best playbooks that I found going through here. I'm going to probably somebody uh, probably find more, but if I do more ebooks breakdowns, that'll be in the membership. So what we're going to be doing here is the first we're going to be going through is five playbooks that I thought that was kind of unique and had a little bit more of a Madden feel to it. If you don't understand, if you just get into college football, you'll be able to use these standardized plays to get you a little bit better to give you a little bit familiar with Madden too as well. So the first playbook we're going to be jumping into is Charlotte, I believe. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Where is Charlotte? Gotta find Charlotte. Did I pass it? Probably did. <laughs> they got so many schools in here, which I kind of realized, which is kind of weird. I was like, I didn't even know there was this many college, colleges and states and stuff like that as well. So we got Carolina, Alabama, Syracuse. And a lot of these playbooks that I went through, I'm gonna still go through them a little bit um better because i feel as though they got a little bit of mix of everything but you don't want to keep your limited on one playbook i would say because you don't want to be just versatile in one you want to be able to use everything so that's my thing so we got charlotte uh the cool thing about charlotte is that it has tight doubles in here a lot of people don't know about tight doubles is that it's a very versatile offense you can definitely do a lot and what i love about this offense is that once you jump into it go to the audible plays it has cool plays in there so you got the hb base what i like to do is run out of here you got the hb draw and two running plays hb base hb draw but what really makes this formation kind of cool is that you got tight floods you got the bench mess spot Z spot, cross wheel, zig under, angle, slant under, PAY receiver, Z spot, pretty much all the way around that you can utilize it. So tight doubles is, you know, a little bit cooler. So this play does have versatile things, double off, over off. So you can do a lot of things in here. But that tight doubles will definitely be a game changer for you to use. So definitely look out for that as well. The next one is going to be Utah State. I think Utah State is pretty cool because when I looked at it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, not bad. <laughs> Utah State is cool as well because it has another tight doubles in there that was kind of different for me to utilize, which is tight slot HB week, which a lot of things a lot of people don't understand because it has a inside zone in here, which is one of my favorite running plays. And you got the read option in there. You got the HB draw me. You got the inside zone too as well. And also you got the inside zone and going in different directions read option. Got the slip screen here, also the four verticals, RPO slant, which is crazy. Uh, bench, bench swirl, regular mesh spot in here too as well. The post wheel drag is good. The flood with the stick switch. And a lot of things that you can do with the RPO slant, verticals, a lot of things that you can do to make this <laughs> uh, formation very deadly. And also it adds other one with the wide stack, double off, bench wide. So you got a lot of things that you can utilize with the bench strong wide in there. So this is actually a good playbook if you want to spread the wide receivers out and utilize them as well. Um, the next one is going to be everybody's favorite, Alabama. Alabama is pretty cool, man. What I like about Alabama is that it has a little bit more of a bunch tight in here, a bunch tight in. But this gives you a lot of versatility if you love playing in bunch and utilizing a lot of stuff in bunch. You got the Z out, triple out, slot option, HB slip screen. You got the whip, the X spot. Got the inside cross, inside zone, which I think is deadly because I like that running play. Um, inside switch, PA verticals, the mesh, the RPO bubble, which you can run out of there too as well. Uh, the curl flat, spacing, uh, deep smash, off tackle, draw, verge, delay. It's, it's so much stuff in here, man, that you can run with this bunch. It ain't even funny. Also, you have the versatility of using other formations. 
you got the slight right normal off bunch spread so you can actually you know spread out make sure you're utilizing the slot a little bit more better so this will give you a chance to actually just sit and bunch the whole game if you like playing a bunch so yeah <laughs> Um, the next we're going to go to is one of the other top boys is Georgia. Georgia is pretty cool. I like Georgia. <laughs> cool thing about Georgia, it has another regular old bunch in there. So we got bunch, bunch by flex. And yeah, so, but we're really going to be focusing on is bunch. So you got bunch in here. So if you like to spread the offense up, you got the bunch, you got the RPO bubble, you got the bench pivot, Z spot, flood. PA post, dig, return, um, PA cell, corner Y, smash return, HB draw, HB slip screen, switch, bunch cell, mesh spot, bunch trail, deep attack, corner strike, Z cross, Z spot, and go, Z spot flood. It's, it's so much stuff in here that you can really sit in bunch. And you can versatile with the playbook as well to actually open up a little more thing that you can add to this mix. So don't forget, you got the cluster, deuce close. So you got a mix that you can run off this shotgun. So be mindful of that. Um, and the last one is going to be a custom book, which I never, I never find this to be a thing they would do, but they actually did. They got a multiple offense. People that's just getting into the game that don't know what they're doing, that don't know what they're doing at all this actually gives you a little bit more of a versatility to have everything in one book so you got the pistols you got the wishbone you got the eye forms you got the shotgun that you really need uh triple bunch spread tight open tight white off um you pretty much got a san francisco with a bunch in it so it's really good so you can definitely do versatile runs pistols you can definitely open yourself up to have a mixture game so if you're just getting into the game and you just get into college football this will be the playbook that you can use for multiple offenses to actually open up some things now this will let you know before i go if you're looking for me to break down all the ebooks and give you a good you know insight of how they work to give you a play and best formation to use out of each playbook make sure you go to my website coolaman 100 xcom you can definitely become a member and that's where i'll be start breaking down offensive playbooks for my perspective and give you a better outlook to what formations to look for that focus on in the playbook not going to break down the whole playbook just going to give you formation that you can focus on and game plans that you can work within the practice mode to give you a better outlook on a playbook that you want to use so i hope you enjoyed the video stay locked in we'll catch you on the next one